Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Rob Trek where I try to answer your questions from the comments in my other videos. And uh, today we have one from uh, Rafael Sergui. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And, and also this is from about three weeks ago so I'm sorry to get back to you sooner. But question is, hello, one question to the custom modes. Once you've set a custom mode and saved it to C2 for example, and let's say it's being set to aperture priority shooting mode A, is there any way to change it to M shooting mode while keeping all the rest of the settings that are being set. Uh, I recently got the OM-1 coming from an EM-1-2, and although everything is kind of familiar, I'm getting used to it. Thank you in advance. All right, so the short answer is yes, this can be done. It's very easy to do, actually. And uh, basically what he's saying is, you know, let's say I have a custom white balance I want, and the focus point, and maybe a color profile that I'm using and I'm doing this in Aperture Priority, and I save all of that to say C2. And all I want to do is change it to Manual Mode with all of the same settings, and maybe save that to C3. And instead of having to remember all these different settings, you just want to be able to simply change it to M Mode with the same settings. And that's, it. like I said, it's very simple to do. Now, there, there's a couple of caveats to this. Um, you can't do this, for example, like uh, you have C2 set to aperture priority mode, f2.8, and then you want to save all of those settings that I talked about, for example, and uh, do it in shutter priority mode. Because the f2.8 is not going to be transferred over to shutter priority mode, because now the camera takes over the aperture, right? So that should be uh, fairly intuitive, but just be conscious of that, that you know certain modes are not going to transfer everything, right? All right, so let's go ahead and use the example that Raphael gave us, and that is we're going to save an aperture priority mode with some other various settings into C2, and then we're going to quickly change that to M mode with all of the same settings that we had when we were in C2, and save those to C1 very quickly. All right, first thing I'm going to do is just go into the menu, and let's just do a quick reset so that none of the settings I had before are going to interfere with anything I'm trying to show you. So let's go ahead and put the camera into Aperture Priority. And let's set up a monochrome profile, just for example. And we'll turn on Face Detect. We'll do a single autofocus in silent shutter mode, center weighted metering, and we'll do F4. And of course, we'll shoot in RAW plus JPEG. All right, now let's go ahead and save all of these settings into C1. So we go to shooting menu number one, click on custom mode. I'm sorry, we're going to save it to C2. And do assign, set, click OK, and we're done. And if we go back, you can see now that C2 is set all right, now we can double check. We can just go into uh, that C1, as you can see in the bottom left. If we go into C2, our monochrome settings have been saved, just like we had before. Now let's go back into manual mode. And all we have to do is go into the menu, go into custom mode, go to C2, click OK, and click OK on the recall. So now we're going to recall all of the settings from C2 while we're in manual mode and say yes. And then go to C1, click OK, click Assign, and click Set, click OK. And now C1, let's go into C1, is now manual mode with all of the same settings that we used for Aperture Priority Mode, which we saved into C2. So if I go into C2, we're now in the aperture priority mode. If I go back to C1, we're now in the manual mode. All right, and that's all there is to it. And of course, there's always some caveats, right? Not every setting can be saved into a custom mode. Now, I believe just about every photographic setting can be saved, the stills, right, uh, into a custom mode. But there are some exceptions to that as well. I believe, like, I think the intervalometer might be one. Like, you can't save those set specific settings into the custom mode. Uh, probably some of the computational ones as well. So you need to check the owner's manual 
and they have a chart that shows you every setting that can be saved into a custom mode and there'll be a little check mark in the box. If that setting cannot be saved into a custom mode, there'll just be a little dash. So uh, check your owner's manual uh, if you're having trouble saving some custom modes and see if it's in there. If it, if it can be saved to a custom mode and you're still having trouble, there's probably some conflict of setting or something, right? That you'll have to research further. The biggest exception to saving things in the custom modes is all of the movie modes, right? Most of the movie settings cannot be saved in the custom mode. Uh, the only thing you can do with movie settings in the custom modes are basically like color profiles. But you're going to be locked into program mode, etc. And I have a whole video on how to do movie settings for custom modes. Uh, but there's a lot of caveats and a lot of exceptions. and It's very complicated. Uh, but it can be done to some extent and it may be useful. So you can check that video out as well. Uh, I'm going to just answer one more question very quickly. This is from Avian Reb Rebe. This is, wow, this one's really old from about a month ago, and I, I'm so sorry about that if I pronounce your name wrong or getting back to you. This was uh, related to uh, file management in the OM1. And the question is, is it possible to get the OM1 to save files in multiple folders on the card? He goes to say, my G9 would store 1,000 photos in a folder and then create a new folder. Uh, making manageable the, for importing, etc. Thanks. And the short answer is no, it, you can't do that. You can assign a folder to save your pictures to, uh, but it's not going to automatically create a folder for you after it reaches a certain count in the uh, photos. Uh, you can do it manually, but there's no way to do it automatically like the Panasonic does. Now, if you want to do it manually, you can create several folders on your memory card. And this is useful, uh, especially like if you're changing locations or sites and you can save images from one location to another into different folders. Uh, but the first folder, the default folder, is already set up for you when you format the memory card. So if we go over to the wrench menu, and I've already formatted this memory card, but the default assigned save folder is 100. OM sys and that's where they're going to go so let me just fire off like three pictures of a blank frame or black frame and then uh, if we go back into the menu assign save folder and click over to the right and go to the existing folder that it created when we formatted the card you'll see that we have those three pictures now in a uh, folder 100 OM sys let me go back. I'll create a new folder, 101. It, it automatically increments, apparently. We'll click OK. And now we have the assigned save folder set to 101. So if I fire off, say, two pictures, let's go to the menu, assign save folder, and click over to the right, existing folder. And you can see we now have three pictures here and two pictures here. Let me go back. And I can create another new folder at this point, 103. And now if I take a couple of more pictures, they should go into 103. So click in here and over here, and then scroll down to existing folder. And you can see now we have two more pictures here. Now, if I don't create another folder, um, I can fire off a few more pictures, and they're all going to go into folder 103 OM sys. So if we look in here, whoops, go down here to assign save folder, click OK, click over to the right, go down to existing folder, click OK. You can see they all went into there. Uh, but if I want to change back to one of these other folders, I just click OK on the folder I want the pictures to go into. And now, if I fire off a few more pictures, we'll go into the menu, click over to the right, click over to existing folder, click OK. You can see that the pictures are now being saved back into the 100 OM sys. So it's a little awkward, but it can be useful if you need to separate your images into different folders. All right, and that's all I have for today. And if you found this video helpful, consider buying me a coffee or making a small donation in the links below. They're greatly appreciated and help support the channel. And as always, I appreciate you watching. 
and I hope to see you again soon.